doesn't happen often that a video game is pushing me over that 100 hours played sweet mark but boy when it does I know that I've struck gold and this video is a retrospective looking back at one of the games that actually managed to push me over that 100 mark and also it's me replaying it now in 2024. Now let's go over a few honorable mentions of games that has done this to me in recent years anyway in modern times that would be Assassin's Creed Origins, Genshin Impact, Rune Factory 5, just to mention some. But today we are going to have a closer look at Dragon Quest Builders 2. The crowdfunding of my plushie will end on June 13th. If we don't reach 100 sold, it won't go into production. As of recording right now, we have 37 sold. Thank you so much to everyone that has already pre-ordered it. That means a lot to me. Now it was back in the start of 2021 when I last played this game actively and discovered it and I played it on the Nintendo Switch. I have a review up on this channel about this game and the adventures that I had back then. But now I have restarted the game. I bought it on PlayStation 5. It's the PS4 version but it plays on the PS5. And just now in the past two months I have sunk in over 60 new hours into the game. It is so addicting and I wanted to like deep dive into what is it exactly that makes this game stand out and the switch version the switch port of the game it's an excellent port I'm gonna have that said also the switch version is where I built all of my first creations I played a lot of multiplayer with my cousin <laughs> The history was good. I had such a blast in this game. Just really stands out when I'm thinking back on, uh, let's say the past four or five years. This one really stands out. And basically it's up there as one of my most played games on the entire system, the Nintendo Switch. I remember having so much fun figuring things out for my first time, building all kinds of rooms and buildings, even making like railway systems, <laughs> I remember. I made my eyes island so cool. Overall just having the best time. And Dragon Quest Builders 2 was such an upgrade also from Dragon Quest Builders 1 which I also loved with all of the new things that you could do. Basically improving on every single thing that made the first game so good. I mean this time around there were more focus on building. A much better inventory system. That was so much improved. It also implemented a lot of quality of life features like being able to unlock certain infinite materials material types, which means cutting down on some of the material grinding. You didn't have to grind endlessly if you needed one specific material. You could actually unlock an infinite amount of certain materials. That was so good. Also, there are collectible mounts, pets breeding, and there is an achievement now on the PlayStation version. And that is also another thing. I am now collecting achievements in this game because now I'm playing it on the PlayStation, which opens up so many things to me. I am pet breeding my pets also, which I didn't know that you could do, that you can get some rare breeds in the game and one of them gives you an achievement. Also there's a ton more room recipes, a lot more focus on doing rooms with actual recipes like inns, hotels, resorts, all sorts of bedrooms. And this game also had connected chapters this time around which in the first game they were separate, uh, if you know you know. <laughs> they were separate adventures so that was also just uh, very much improved upon. The first Dragon Quest Builders game was, in my opinion, rather hard and very tactical at times. This one is easier. It's basically better in every way. Music is still unbearable though. I lower that, I still do that, but still I see this game as being the perfect block building RPG game. On the top of the throne, no one has managed to beat this game yet. And I'm getting to it, you know, I want a Dragon Quest Builders 3. So here's the story. I played this game three years ago and I left it and now in recent months I was scrolling the PlayStation Store and I saw that the digital copy of Dragon Quest Builders 2 was on sale and I was like, 
I want to replay this game. I'm buying it again, you know, digitally because I'm such a digital queen. I did a collab about this topic actually on Metal Jesus Rocks. You can check out that video. I will be leaving that down below. I will remember this time. <laughs> Normally when I say there's a link down below, there's never a link down below, is it? But anyways, I joined the collab and that was fun. And I was basically the only one saying that I have no issue with digital games. I also actually ended up grabbing the first Dragon Quest Builders on sale. So now I have that also in digital <laughs> because I view these games as like forever games. I have a feeling, you know, that these games, since they are block building games, they have this ability to them to be a forever game, which means that a couple of years can pass, but then I'm feeling the urge to go back to it and start over and build something because it's so creative. So now I'm like collecting trophies in this game and that's so much fun. It's popping up for every chapter that I do. Maybe I will aim for a platinum trophy, I don't know. The pet breeding trophy is gonna be so difficult, so difficult. <laughs> now I wanna say that the fun part about replaying this game now again is that I remember certain things so clearly and by remembering certain things it made me better prepared for what was coming. I felt right at home again. Also doing things a lot quicker this time around as I know how to place blocks in clever ways and it all came back to me. This time around I corrected some of the mistakes that I did previously in the Switch version. Like for example, after the first story chapter is done you're sent to this main island which is the multi player island and you are tasked with making a river and this time around I did it more correctly I think since the environment around you is kind of indicating where the river should be going and that it is somewhat supposed to flow down into this valley to make a pond and I didn't do that in my Nintendo Switch save file but this time around I am doing what the game intended me to do I mean on the Switch save which you can see on the screen right now this area makes no sense but on PlayStation it does. I made the cutest river area village now with a restaurant going into the mountainside looking really good with my farming area also now located at the area I think the game intended it to be. I've made cafeterias, I've made inns, a breeding area for the pets that I mentioned lol. A weird room way up high and I'm also now trying to create every single room type in the game that are shown on this list of rooms and if you have built it it will be highlighted. So I'm trying to highlight every single room type. This is sweaty gaming okay. We are we are being sweaty at this point. I then got done with the second chapter of the game, uh, the island of Crumble Done. <laughs> Not my favorite chapter, let's just say. Followed up after that, the worst section of the game. Oh, I remember saying this in my review also. Um, actual link down below. That I hated the Skelcatras Island. <laughs> That's two hours of the game, that's still so terrible. And straight after that you get to build this pyramid, which is a part of the main story and the oasis. And I just now started my favorite chapter. Moonbrook. Uh, I'm loving this chapter, I don't know why. You're invaded all the time in this castle and you're trying to restore the castle and it's a whole thing. I remember loving it back then when I made the review also. Things are coming back to me now as I am having like a retrospective on this game. I I'm feeling so nostalgic. And actually when I was talking on the phone with Consoler Cousin I said like, remember that game? Remember Dragon Quest Builders 2? I bought it again on PlayStation and then he also bought it. <laughs> and like the Time Lord that is, if you remember that. Like a week later he's sending me a screenshot of the uh, the end screen. He did the entire game, he devoured the game as he does. And he was also like having a wonderful time again back in the game. So we're just basically being very nostalgic right now. Dragon Quest Builders 2 holds up wonderfully in 2024. And if you haven't played it yet, I still highly recommend it. Get it on the Switch, get it on the PlayStation. It looks and performs, of course, the best on the PlayStation. That's a uh, given, but still the Switch version is a good solid port. Except for that, it may lag if you build like a lot of stuff. That's when it starts to maybe lag a tiny bit. But for the most part, 
excellent port. And I am really hoping for a third entry by now. I'm such a fan. I want Dragon Quest Builders 3 to be announced. That would be the dream. I would be the first one to freaking pre-order. I never pre-order games, but that would be like something that I would be running towards. I think this series is unique. I think they are very unlike any other block building game on the market right now with its story and RPG elements and action room recipes and NPC management, that's also a whole thing. It's a true playground of a game for the creative souls out there, where only the sky is the limit to what you can build, literally. And this game still has an active player base. And, and also I am one of them, apparently. And it's a bunch of fun to try and complete all of the tablet missions. You get these mission boards after each chapter of the game, which are missions that you can do and you get rewards and it's so fun. And of course for me, trying to get all of the trophies on the PlayStation version, the hours just really fly by and I don't even notice it. Having a blast. I can be playing in the evening and uh, suddenly it's like 4 a.m. Let us have a third game. Spread the word. Let us have a third game, please. I'm hoping this video helps create some sort of awareness and some push towards that. Anyways, guys, so that was my little look back, my little nostalgic corner, my retrospective of Dragon Quest Builders 2 and going back to it. And it's just as good still in 2024. Please hit like on this video as I will be doing more videos in this style pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.